Hello, welcome to the channel, Gemini Collective. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you all so much for joining me. This will be for those of you with Gemini placements. Anywhere in your chart, take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Are we still in Gemini season? Maybe. If you're still in Gemini season, I hope y'all enjoying your birthday season, although it's coming to a close. If we're not, just disregard that part. <laughs> Don't try to force anything to fit that's not your story. Could be past, present, or future energy. But I'm trying to get the energy today between you and your person. You versus them is what this is going to be. The blockage is the advice and the outcome for you and your person. So whoever you're thinking about, let's see. Let's get the connected energy in your relationship, Gemini. Get, I get triggered at the thought of you. Let's get your energy about them. I'm sorry I lied to you, all right? And let's get their energy toward you. Okay. I know our souls are intertwined. Okay, let's get the obstacles, the challenges, the blockages in the connection. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. What's the best course of action in your advice from spirit? You feel like home to me? Okay. What's the outcome over the next three to six months between you two? What's going to happen? I know, you, I know you're the one for me. Okay. And then their message to you, Gemini. I don't know how to live without you. Okay. All right, bottom of the deck, we have, I can't stop thinking about you. So this person can't stop thinking about you, Gemini. Put that up there. We're going to get some tarot. These readings will not be long today. Let's see. So in the current energy between you and your person, the, the collective energy between you and them, the energy is I get triggered at the thought of you. So that leads me to believe that you both trigger one another. This could be a twin flame connection. I mean, you know, those connections are usually the most triggering, really <laughs> the most triggering, most difficult to navigate until you two hit that groove and get on the same page. It is possible there's still a runner chaser dynamic in a relationship. Yeah, we have the King of Cups here. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I feel like someone is really loving you so much. This person... Seems like all they want to do is make you happy. And um, this could be a shared feeling. Yeah, the Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They feel you two belong together. Okay? It's possible that you have felt that way as well, or you still feel that way. But it's coming across that your person's energy is, they feel like you two belong together. They feel very drawn to you. You feel like marriage material to this person. They feel equally yoked with you. So your energy is showing up as, I'm sorry I lied to you. So some of you, the reason why this connection may not be at its best right now is because you have lied to this person. Um, Obviously, y'all can flip this if you need to. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So y'all been going through some changes lately. Could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. And then we have the Page of Swords. This is you, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could be dealing with someone younger than you. It could be an air sign or a fixed sign. So it looks like right now the connection might be, there may be no communication. You could be watching this person. It is also possible that they're watching you. One of you is watching the other and kind of waiting for divine timing to step in before you make a move because we have the will of fortune. But this is someone that feels very much like a part of your destiny. And some of you may feel that even though you're at odds. Show me why they feel that your souls are intertwined. Again, they feel very drawn to you. Yeah, look at this, the four of wands. They really feel like your marriage material. Aries energy and the four of pentacles. See, the fours are all about, like, this is all this person is thinking about. The fours are all about mindset, instability, security. So the four of wands is a twin flame connection. I just said it could be a twin flame. All right, so 1111. They definitely feel, feel your souls are intertwined. And then the four of pentacles, this person is holding on very tightly to you. It could be an Aries or a Capricorn. They don't want to let you go. They feel like you two um, could live together. Maybe you already do. If not, they want to. This could be someone you met in your community. Could have been a neighbor or someone you went 
anything you can do in community with someone. I always have to explain this card, <laughs> but community doesn't just mean where you live. So maybe it was a religious institution, um, a store you both frequent, a restaurant you both frequent, a lounge, anything like that, a gym, anywhere you see one another pretty frequently. Okay. So this could be where you met them. You could live with them. You could possibly already be married to them or already connected um, as far as living together. Or maybe you did, or you just lived in community with them. This person is very much possessible with you. They feel like they're a bit jealous. Um, yeah, they almost feel like, I don't think they mean this in, in a negative way, but it's almost like your mind, like, you know, the way he's holding on to these pentacles. They don't want to let you go, okay? So the obstacles, the challenges, and the blockages is, I hope you can forgive me. And this may be you for whatever you lied about, if you, in fact, did lie, all right? So let's see what that's about. Yeah, Five of Cups, look at you, wanting forgiveness. This is grief, Five of Cups is grief, it's sorrow, it's sadness, it's someone crying. It could be that you know you really hurt this person, okay? And this is, could be something that's eating you up. I've been telling you all that your energy has been coming through a bit like cold and distant. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you, I feel like you've been content by yourself here. Maybe reaching a lot of, um emotional highs and successes on in your own right and you've been feeling emotional contentment that's pisces energy so you could be connected to a scorpio or a pisces all right and you're trying to get this person's forgiveness all right so moving on the best course of action and the advice for you is you feel like home to me so there that's what that card means it's a feeling of belonging all right you had a tower Scorpio and Aries, and then the Page of Cups. I feel there's an apology coming in from your end if you're the one who, whomever wronged the other. You could be dealing with a younger Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, or you could be dealing with an Aries. So I do get the feeling that some, some kind of heartfelt communication, something maybe small, an apology possibly for how things ended. Yeah. Maybe you moved out if you live with this person. And it could be that there's some reconciliation taking place right now with the Page of Cups. It could be starting small. And then we have um, the outcome over the next three to six months is I know you're the one for me with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So you could be dealing with a younger Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Oh my goodness. I can't shuffle. And then the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so... You, I get, I get the feeling like you want to get this right this time. I feel like you feel you dropped the ball. Some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign. It's possible you worked a lot and neglected this person because this is a hard working card here, mastery, manifestation, and this is a hard worker too who will neglect you because they put work first. I feel like some of you want to come in and write this wrong, or prioritizing money or other things over the connection. So over the next three to six months, I do feel a reconciliation. And I feel that you will put the work in to um, actually cultivate this relationship with this person. This is making the effort. The Eight of Pentacles is someone who wants to patiently and diligently work on something. Okay, so we have their message to you being, I don't know how to live without you. So this is the person who cannot live without you. They really feel very drawn to you. And then we have the King of Swords. Yeah, because you, you give this person a sense of stability. Yeah, judgment. There's going to be a decision made, a, very, a head over heart decision, it looks like. I feel like your logic is actually going to make you go back to this person. Could be another Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. I do definitely get the uh, feeling that this will be a truthful conversation coming up soon. But it's going to be a head over heart decision is what I'm saying here. But it's going to be for both of you, um, both of your higher, highest good. Okay, bottom of the deck, eight of cups. All right, so this is the energy of walking away. Then we have the hangman, two Pisces cups, surrendering the connection, but then healing the connection with the temperance. So yeah, eventually following your heart back to the person you want to be with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius are there. And we're going to leave it there. That went way longer than I wanted it to. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all. I'm going to see you all. Peace.